Hello everyone and welcome to this guide for the two arts and crafts games in FNAF Help Wanted 2. Let's start off with the arts and crafts daycare. In this game, Sun will give players a toy gun which you can use to get items you need for your art. There are two large boards that will have pictures of the item Sun will give you if you shoot at it. And you know which items you need by looking at the screen. For the first item, you will need to paint a picture, and the screen will show you which regions of the picture need to be which colors. If you look, you will notice that each region also has a number on it. If you look to your left, you will find the paint cans. But something else to know is that each of these has a number on them. Blue is 4, yellow is 2, and red is 1. So you can add the numbers together on the paint cans to get which colors you need to mix. For example, the number 5 is for purple, which you get by mixing blue and red, which is 4 plus 1. This is great if you are a bit rusty on your color wheel, but also if you are colorblind, then you can still know which colors you need to mix. This is a timed game, so you will have to color the piece before the time runs out, or you will fail the game. When you are finished coloring, you can press the done button, but if something is not correct, then Sun will say that it's not correct, and then you will need to fix it and then press the done button. The screen will also flash red with what is missing. The next item players will need to make is the paper pal. A rope will drop down when the round starts. Pulling this rope will change the items the boards will give you. So look at the picture of the screen and it shoot all the items you need. However, there is a new item that looks like a sphere, and shooting this will turn off the lights temporarily. If you turn off the lights three times, then Moon will activate and kill you. Keep in mind the timer is also still playing in this round. If you hit the dumb button but do not have all the items, then Sun will cause some or all of the items to fall off of the paper pal, meaning you have to put them all on it again. So the penalty for pressing done when you are not done can be severe, especially if you are almost out of time. So always make sure to triple check your work before you press that button. Some tips on the items you need. All paper pals need two eyes and four limbs, which are the folded rectangles. So you can always get these items immediately. Another item I want to point out are the buttons, which on the screen look like small black circles with a white center. To get these, you need to shoot the panel that has three circles that are orange, purple, and black. For your final challenge, you will need to make a colored paper pal. I recommend always putting together the paper pal first and do the coloring last. It just goes a lot smoother if you do things in that order. Now for the second game, which is the loft game, there are a few changes that make it a lot more intense. You will only have one board to choose from in this game. There are also two new colors, a glittery silver and a light blue. The silver paint is number 7 and the light blue is 8. The first round is timed, so make sure to finish before time runs out or you will die. However, the next two rounds will not be timed and you will see why. The lights will go out, making it nearly impossible to see the boards without a flashlight. It will depend on what your alpha settings are here if you can see in the dark at all. But the flashlight will be provided on your right. However, there is more to worry about than just the dark. Moon will appear in the area and move towards you, and if he gets to your desk and you don't scare him away, then he will kill you. So you will need to shine the flashlight at his red eye until he leaves. However, the flashlight does have a short battery and must be recharged if it runs out, so you will always want to be charging your flashlight when not using it. You will always know if Moon is spawning somewhere because you will hear him laughing and moving around. Moon's movements around the area are randomized, but he will always spawn in the same spots. One thing I have noticed though, is that Moon typically does not spawn in front of you unless you are ignoring him with, with the flashlight. So let me go over all the spawn points for you now. He can spawn at the upper middle of your screen, super far away. He can spawn on top of the jungle gym. He can spawn in the makeshift tent where Sun was pouting a moment ago. He can spawn on the right side of the board or on the left side of the board. And then if you ignore him and don't flashlight him, he will either spawn right in front of you next to the monitor or he will spawn on your left near the paint cans. Now, if he is left alone for too long here, he will kill you. Since Moon will only kill you after reaching the desk, you can technically ignore him until he spawns in front of you. However, this can be risky and scary, so the safer way to play is to wait for him to appear at the side of the board or in the tent, and then flashlight him there. 
Now, how can you navigate in the dark? Well, make sure to only keep the flashlight on for short periods of time while looking for the items you need on the boards. When you shoot a board, the items are always placed in the same area and they are highlighted when you put your hand over them. So you can place a lot of items without even needing to see them. One thing that is very important is to make sure to avoid shooting the spheres on the board because a moon will instantly kill you if you shoot out the lights three times. Whenever you're not using the flashlight, remember to always be charging it due to its short battery life. Something to note is that it is easy for the flashlight to get stuck on the sides of the charging station when you're moving it in and out of there. Now again, these two rounds are not timed. And if you press the done button and have something wrong, it will cause parts to fall off. But there is no other penalty since there is no longer a time limit. You just have to put everything back on. If you have any questions, comment below and I will help you out. Now let me show you how I beat Arts and Crafts Loft.
I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more guides.